What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the new live festival in-game event for the Elder Scrolls Online which begins Thursday, December the 21st at 10 a.m. Eastern and will run until Tuesday, January the 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern. During this year's festivities you can earn a variety of jolly rewards including the new life boxes, XP boost, event tickets, and more. During the New Life Festival, you will automatically a enjoy a 100% XP boost from, of course, the Bottomless Mead Jug Memento. Or the Bottomless uh, Mead Mug, excuse me, Memento. If you have completed the quest in previous years, you will not need to complete it again this year. But if this is your first year doing the event, open the Crown Store and acquire the free quest, the New Life Festival. Once you have completed that, you will get the Bottomless Mead mug memento which of course will give you that 100 percent xp boost during the event after wrapping up the event's introductory quest you'll unlock 10 special new life festival daily quest nine uh from of course one one area and then the pair will task you with to travel across uh tamriel and share seasonal you know different things merriment with all of the citizens so what you will need to do is whenever you complete one of these 10 daily quests, you'll be rewarded with a new life festival box contained inside these seasonal uh, cases is a chance to receive the following rewards. Alchemy crafting materials, new life festival toys, such as the sword swallowing, uh, swallowing kit, the juggling knives, the fire breathers, torches, mud balls, uh, the wolf's bane, one of the following, a skin changer motif, the New Life Festival recipes, the New Life furnishings, deep winter charity writs, imperial charity writs, and a chance of one of the following, a evergreen outfit style or the new morning star frostware outfit style. It says if you already earned a morning star frostware uh, page that day, an evergreen outfit style page or a Nord carved armor outfit style page will be given instead you also be able to get event tickets during this event and of course if you can complete each daily reward three event tickets in addition to the reward box you can earn up a total of 60 event tickets by the event's end also don't forget you only can hold 12 event tickets in your inventory at once during the new life festival the event vendor will have updated her stock with all three passion dancer blossom fragments all components for this year's morphing collectibles all three horde hunter mount fragments bound style pages for the morning star frostware uh, also the new life festival grab bag which will have things like the mud ball pouch the nord uh, bathers towel costume the fur hood hat the phil greed hood hat the sword swallower's blade the juggler's knives, the fire breather's uh, torches, the snowball buddy pet, and the powder white coney pet, also group repair kits, and uh, companion guild combinations. Now, during this event, like all of the other events we've had this year, the event vendor's assistant will be there with the Endrick feathers and berries, but also the assistant will have things like the unstoppable morpholite fragments and the uh, Dagonic fragments as well that uh, you, we've had in the past. So it says Tamriel rings in the new year as this year draws to a close. You can send 2023 off in merry style during the new life festival. This is an event a lot of people really enjoy because of that double XP, but the event overall is just a lot of fun too. But of course, I know a lot of people will be grinding out levels, grinding out new characters. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you'll be hopping in and playing the Elder Scrolls during this year's event for the new life festival. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.